Today, the church remembers Sundar Singh, who died in 1929. Born of wealthy Sikh parents, Sundar Singh was converted to Christianity after experiencing a vision. He was baptised in the Anglican Church at Simla in 1905. In an endeavour to present Christianity in a Hindu form, he donned the robes of a sadhu, or holy man, and travelled much around the Indian subcontinent. He even made a visit to Tibet, to Tibet, where he persisted in strenuous work, despite ill health. He went missing there, presumed murdered, in April 1929. So your thanks for the life of Sundar Singh, for all he did in the Indian subcontinent. And we pray today for the churches of North India and South, and South India, uh, who were very much early examples of ecumenical cooperation um, at the beginning of the last century. Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the Collect on the Eve of Trinity 3. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.